Well, this right here sheds a very good light at just the insanity going on over in France. So in this case, apparently it's actually a crime to criticize theft by Muslim migrants. Yeah, this was uh, this is an article written by Paul Joseph Watson on Summit News says uh, Mikhail Welbeck in trouble for saying French want Muslim migrants to stop attacking, or sorry, stop stealing from them and attacking them. Grand Mosque of Paris files legal complaint for saying that, hey, we want Muslim migrants to stop stealing from us and attacking us. That's now apparently a, a criminalization in France. It's, it's, a, it's illegal, apparently hate speech in France. Wait, I thought France was some kind of uh, crusader for free speech. So why are there any kind of laws that banned so-called hate speech from so my cat you may be able to notice him in the background but let's uh, read this article it says here on summit news welbeck could be about could be about to face another investigation after the grand mosque of paris complained about him saying the french simply want muslim migrants to stop stealing from them and attacking them welbeck made the comments during an interview back in november with the popular front populaire magazine where he warned that mass migration was changing france for the worst and that europe was being swept away by the phenomenon which it, it is he's exactly right he says the wish of a native of the native French population, as as they say, is not that Muslims assimilate, but that they stop stealing from them and attacking them, or else another solution that they go. Welbeck remarked, "That's a perfectly rational, you know, uh, thing to ask. Hey, Muslim migrants that come into our land, stop stealing from us. You know, kind of a decent thing, but probably that's hate speech and Islamophobia now." Uh, it says Chems Eddie Hayav. Hafez, whatever, whatever you say his name, the uh, rector of the Great Mosque of Paris, of the Great Mosque of Paris, responded to the comments by demanding the author be criminally prosecuted, calling Welbeck's remarks dangerous. Uh, no, what's actually what's dangerous is when you have Muslims running around, Muslim migrants stealing. I mean, that's what that's what you call dangerous. But supposedly the free speech haven of France, uh, it's a it's illegal. It's a lot, apparently Islamophobia, Islamophobic hate speech is a crime now. Apparently. You know, and the problem is they call Islamophobia any just criticism of Islam, any criticism of Muslim migration is now hate speech now apparently. It's, but it's a bunch of garbage. Okay, uh, the angel, the angel of the Lord in Genesis 16 verse 11 to 12 would have been called hate, would have been uh, accused of Islamophobia when he said that Ishmael would be a wild man. So. Might as well uh, call the angel of the Lord Islamophobic as well. But it says here, Welbeck is no, is, uh, no stranger to getting into legal strife over a candid comments about Islam and mass migration. He was prosecuted for racial incitement, incitement in 2001 for saying, and the most stupid religion of all is Islam, although he won the case on appeal. And I argue he's right on that. I mean, you read the Quran, you would agree with him. During the uh, same front popular interview, Welbeck said he was shocked that the Great Replacement is still being treated as a conspiracy theory. A great replacement. I was shocked. It's called a, a theory. It's not a theory. It's a fact, said the author. When it comes to immigration, nobody controls anything. That's the whole problem. Europe will be swept away by this cataclysm. Uh, Howell Beck's 2016 or 2015 book submission, which is a fictional tale of political Islam taking over in France, was published on the same day that Muslim jihadists carried out the, the, the uh, Charlie Hebdo massacre. Don't know what happened with Charlie Hebdo. If, if you don't know, it was basically these these uh, this satirical magazine that published cartoons of Muhammad. And I'm not defending Charlie Hebdo. I mean, they, they mock Jesus Christ as well. So I really have no sympathy for them whatsoever. But they published these cartoons of Muhammad and these, these Muslims... Uh, shot out the place. They were connected to Al Qaeda, and essentially, uh, for a brief moment, everyone was calling and you know calling out uh, this whole thing and saying it was you know support of free speech and calling out the Muslim jihadists. Uh, but of course, that didn't last long. And again, not defending Charlie Hebdo, they also also blasphemed Jesus Christ. But it is a, a good example of the fact that there is no more free speech in France. The fact that they can get shot up, I mean, yeah, sure, they didn't face any legal consequences, but they got shot up for publishing cartoons of the uh, the bail worshipping false, you know, idolatrous false prophet Muhammad. And this author, Michael Welbeck, uh, he's also being uh, put into legal, legal hot water for just simply asking the Muslim migrants, hey, you know, the French want Muslim migrants to stop stealing from them. You know, but apparently that's now Islamophobia, which is apparently a crime in the so supposedly free speech haven of France. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. Again, Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12 says everything we need to know about the spiritual descendants of Ishmael, the Muslims. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.